Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, a video that some of you might be a little shocked about. Uh, also, I got a haircut. Yes, I, I did. Feels so fresh and fabulous and uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know exactly what the title of this video is yet, but I've got a feeling it kind of tells you what I'm about to tell you here. But uh, yeah, you know, relationships, dating, the single life. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. <laughs> Another Valentine's Day spent not alone, but just loving, well, I mean, technically, yes, I, I probably will be alone, but there won't be a lack of love on my Valentine's Day because I will be loving myself for another year in a row. And you know what? That's A-OK. -okay. So before I get into telling you guys about my current status and how I got here, I would love to thank the sponsor of today's video. We've got a recurring sponsor. Yay! Thank you to Skillshare for once again wanting to sponsor a video of mine. I absolutely love their platform. I am myself a self-taught entrepreneur, a self-taught, although I later went to school for it, but like continuously self-taught artist and you no, know, there are just there are lots of facets of my life that I like to discover and dive into on my own and Skillshare is the perfect platform at least in my eyes for aiding me in that creative venture of mine be it in my work or be it in my creative endeavors such as drawing and painting or even just you know be it with my lifestyle and how I like to live productivity being my number one thing that I'm trying to work on right now Skillshare has such a wide variety of classes that you can take online, you know, through your membership and through your developing interests. You know, my interests certainly are not stagnant. I jump from thing to thing, from month to month, from week to week, to from day to day. So I love that if something sparks my interest, I can be like, Let's hop on Skillshare and find out more about it. Someone on there will be able to teach me many things of that, I am certain. Like I said, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning. And these classes will help you to invest in yourself and your own personal growth. Or like I said, if you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. The class that I'm currently going through is called Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last. It's by Tom Thomas Frank, who is a fellow YouTuber, amongst other things, and he really does a great job at showing you how you can, you may have guessed it, build habits that will last. He outlines the good that comes from being organized like this. He anticipates the bad. And I just love how he really walks you through it, talks you through it. Like I said, I'm very excited to implement some of his methods into my daily habit building. So whether you want to learn a new skill or remaster an old one, you can do it in your own time and at your own pace with Skillshare. You can join like-minded people that are also on their own creative journeys and join in on that diverse community. And Skillshare makes it especially sweet because first 1,000 of my subscribers, yeah, that's a thousand of you. Make no mistake. Click the link in my description box down below. You're gonna get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. I mean, how freaking sweet is that? I will tell you, it is extremely freaking sweet and I am extremely freaking grateful <laughs> for Skillshare. Check them out. Click that link below and fingers crossed, you'll be one of the first thousand and you'll get that free one month trial onto the Valentine's makeup. So mainly I think I'm using ColourPop here. They sent me their Valentine's collection for this year. I was so stoked <laughs> to see that they made more of these heart blushes. I adore these, you guys. These are so good and they are so cute. So they've got six new shades here, but like try and tell me this isn't just like the Polly Pocket realness of your dreams and remembrance of your childhood. They're so good. They're matte. Oh, but they're so gorgeous and they're so cute. Let's see. I might go in with this kind of, I mean, I don't know why I expected anything <laughs> different. When I opened that, I opened it and I was like, mm, that's a little more intense than I thought it would be. Cassie. Get a grip. I just, I know I'm gonna be going ham on my eyes, so I don't want my blush to be too intense, especially cause my eyes are gonna be, you know, red and pink type colors, but. Okay, kiss and tell. This was actually, you can, you might be able to see this one has been used. It's because it's mine from last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year that they came out with these. I will save the other one for the women's shelter that I donate to. I'll just go with a, with a neutral peach, but oh, it's so pretty. Are you kidding me? Oh, let me. Let me show you. See a difference? It's subtle, but it's there. Woohoo! Beautiful. 
Okay, so eyeshadow, like I said, Valentine's Day. Let's talk dating and let you all know that things have ended with the big bearded beautiful man that I've been on a couple of dates with. I feel like, I don't know, when I uploaded my last dating video with him or about him, I'm not sure that I, I still have to go through and read the comments because I had posted that video, I feel like maybe a couple days or a day after he blocked me. <laughs> okay, listen, he didn't block me, but he unmatched me on Bumble, so like, same thing. So I think the two palettes I'm gonna be using are from ColourPop. I've got the Secret Admirer and the Cherry Crush palette for Valentine's. And like I said, what I'm envisioning in my head is kind of intense. So I'm gonna go in with All Night. I'm gonna fluff that into my crease and then we're gonna define with my everything. <laughs> Just kidding. So we're off to a great start. I'm actually gonna go in with Love because that is how we should all go into our Valentine's Day. Whether we have a significant other or not, let's go into it with love. But yeah, I think I've been on 18 different tangents here, but I believe what I was trying to say was that I posted that video when I was kind of like, wah, bearded beautiful man doesn't want me. And so I didn't even read the comments because I was like, I don't want to see that people are happy for me because thing of the past. <laughs> no fault of you guys. It was purely just a scheduling thing, but uh, yeah, saying that he blocked me makes it sound so dramatic and like I did something absolutely crazy, but I didn't. I had texted him that night when I had gotten home from the date or a little later. I don't really remember. It doesn't really matter. But before I went to bed anyways, I texted him or messaged him saying, you know, thanks again for the drink because he paid for my drink and, you know, for all the laughs and whatnot, I had a good time. Like, I hope you have a good night. Get some sleep. Whatever. And, uh, I didn't hear from him and... <laughs> I feel like that happened the first time kind of after our video chat date and so then it's kind of like, oh, oh okay, yeah, he did not have a good time. Never mind. My radar's off and it also kind of led me to just like trying to look back and like not be blinded by the beautiful beard. Like I, I really was. I was blinded by the beard, so to speak. And I think a lot of people can relate. It's like when you're infatuated with how good looking someone is you kind of put the blinders on you wear your rose colored glasses but then when you take them off you know shave the beard so to speak you're like ooh, the signs were all there the red he was wearing his t-shirt was made of red flags how I looked past at it I'll tell you the beard it was beautiful it wasn't that long <laughs> But like, anywho, we allow ourselves, even when we're not, like, I don't know, maybe if we're not charmed by their looks, I, I think that has a lot to do with it though. And like, eventually we're able to step back and be like, oof, that's a real big oofta, if you will. And so by the time he messaged me saying, and you know, just the way that he worded it and the things that he had told me on the date, cause you know, we talked about our, dating history and like where we're at and everything and he had told me you know he's been on bumble for a few years now but like hasn't ever really gone out with the same person for more than a couple dates which like you know doesn't necessarily have to be a red flag but it kind of is if the person says that they are actually looking to be in a relationship you know especially when he's saying he's going on a date like almost every single week you know i think of course there's always that little voice too where we're like oh my gosh i'm gonna be the one to change him i didn't think i was gonna change him but like oh my gosh maybe i'll finally be the one that he decides is worth dating more than a couple dates silly but like probably what was going through my head and uh <laughs> I was wrong but he started off the message like pretty much I don't know it was just like exactly the same in a sense when was it technically yeah I guess it was just it was into the going into the first video date where he was like hey I think you're gorgeous I want a video chat date you and I was like ooh tell me I'm gorgeous again sir thank you but like did the same thing this time when he messaged me back you know after I wished him a good night and thanks for the drink and he said hey Cassie listen I think you're gorgeous and I'm like you say this to everyone don't you and it makes you feel really good about yourself doesn't it I don't know maybe I'm being too hard on him or something but like I just got the feeling that like his good looks he knew it he absolutely knew it and 
It was, I, it grosses me out. <laughs> I don't know, something just hits different with people when they're good looking and they know it and they use it to their advantage. It's gross, I think anyways. And I feel like I had kind of noticed it with the waitress at the restaurant. Just like the way he acted and like pretended to be all aloof about it. Cause I told him, I was like, oh my God, our waitress is in love with you. And he was like, what? <sighs> My friends always tell me I'm just really aloof to these things. I didn't notice. Like, okay, sir. And like, even if he really didn't notice, like that just means he's so used to people being so attracted and dazzled by him. Gross. I don't know, am I being too harsh? Listen, it's in hindsight, I'm allowed to be harsh, okay? <laughs> But yeah, he just, he messaged me and said, hey Cassie, I think you're really gorgeous, but I just didn't feel any kind of a romantic connection. So this is gonna have to be where it ends. This truly will not go anywhere with us. So I wish you the best and that you find what you're looking for. Which like, it's all well and good. Like he's totally allowed to feel that way about me, but it's just like, I just, I get the feeling, I don't know that he necessarily has commitment issues, but I just get the feeling that he's not looking to commit to anything. Again, I could be wrong, but just the feeling. God, it's been so long since I've done eye makeup, so I'm just like, the chins be wiggling. It's a lot going on between the colors and my chins. It's a lot going on. But yeah, I mean, I really, I feel like that's all I can tell you guys in terms of him. Um, I am very happy to report more about myself. <laughs> just in the sense that I was able, for the first time I feel like in a long time, where I felt not necessarily an attachment to someone, but like an excitement about someone, and I was able to not shed a single tear. Like, can I please get a round of applause? And it wasn't just me like burying emotions and stuff to not shed the tear. It was just like, I allowed myself to feel disappointed and, you know, sad or whatever the emotion, the proper emotion would be. And then I just moved on. Like, I feel like your girl's learning. You know how SpongeBob tried to teach us the bring it around town. I'm coming around town. Maybe, I don't know, but like, it's the small. And I really am, I'm very proud of myself. Like even my mom was like, yeah, I was really surprised when you told me about this and like, you seemed to have already moved on. Like I was scared you were, you know, burying things or whatever, but no, you're just like well adjusted. I'm like, oh, I know. Oh. How exciting is that? Very exciting, let me tell you. At least for someone like me. I wouldn't say that I necessarily like get attached very easily, but like if I do get attached or I do feel something, like I'm an all in kind of a person, you know? I, at least at first, <clears throat> you know, tying back to just talking about how I wanna up my productivity game. It's like when I start something, I go all in, but then I think I wear myself out by doing that. And I also like get my hopes up that things are gonna be perfect and I'm gonna make them perfect and they have to be perfect in order to make anything I'm doing worthwhile, which is so not the case. Like there are so many ways to get so many things out of just the experience of trying and learning and all of that. I don't know my friends, but like I said, I was very proud of myself. And now I've been talking to new people. Like it's great because it's really not the end of the world. There will be more beautiful bearded men that want to talk to me in life and hopefully ones with a better disposition suited to me you know because i'm sure he'll be a perfect angel to his person someday but for me it wasn't gonna wasn't gonna cut it oh my god it's been forever since i've done eye makeup like this much less a freaking cut crease let's go and remember how to do a cut crease i don't know but we're gonna give her a good old good old college try yeah i would say that i'm giving dating the good old college try too I'm being nicer to myself like i said i'm allowing these things to happen and not let it just completely ruin my week crush my day crush my dreams of finding my person like you just gotta keep looking. And I know a lot of people like to say that it's gonna happen when you stop looking. And listen, that might work for some people, but for some of us, unless he's a dangerous criminal, how's he gonna find me when I'm not looking? I don't go anywhere. <laughs> you know so some of us actually do have to put in a little bit more effort in that sense you know compared to those who may have co-workers or you may have a bunch of friends that have single friends that they can introduce you to whatever the case is but yeah we shall see what my dating life holds in the future like i said i'm not 
pushing anything, but I'm also not denying myself the experience of trying. And that feels real darn good, let me tell ya. But so yeah, I hope none of you all are bummed out if you don't have a significant other or you don't have a valentine today. Like, it's really not the end of the world when it comes down to it. It's a commercialized holiday. And granted, if you have a significant other and you can spend it in a lovey-dovey way, that's great. You know, enjoy your time. But if you don't, that is no reflection on you. That is absolutely no reflection on your worth. I really, really hope that you are able to celebrate yourself today. And think about all the things that you have accomplished in life. Think about all the reasons that you are lovable because let me tell ya, you are, we all are. Even if it takes you some digging, explore yourself, treat yourself to a fun time, be it, you know, some good chocolates, a good meal, maybe not the whole bottle, but a good glass of wine, a good book, a good toy, treat yourself, treat yourself. Maybe you have a shelf that you can put treats on and in doing so you can treat yourself. Cause like I said, deserved whether you believe me or not and like what better way to celebrate yourself than with something you love and for me oh glitter sure does the trick i have ascended into glitter heaven stop just kidding keep going and ta-da here we have it my valentine's look for today that i'm wearing for no one but myself and I'm okay with it. I'm happy with how it turned out. I said it has been a minute since I have done a look. Turned out fun with all the glitter, you know. Did a little, a little heart cut out here on the side of one of my eyes because I felt like it. And it's just glittery goodness. Some glossy lips. My nails, which I'm sure you've seen. We got some hearts galore. I'm just all for the self-love this year, next year, all of the years to come. Thank you guys for watching and being on my love journey, be it with myself or with potential romantic partners. For now, I'm sticking to the self-love bit. And also giving my love to Skillshare once again. Thank you once again for sponsoring this video of mine. Like I said before, you guys, if you haven't tried out Skillshare before, please click on the link down below. And the first thousand of my subscribers to do so are gonna get a free one month trial with Skillshare. It's an incredibly diverse community over there. And I just, I love Skillshare. So thank you once again for sponsoring this video. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Please let me know how do you think the Makeup turned out all that good stuff are you single this year are you loving on yourself please tell me all of the things down below are you are you in a happy committed relationship you're allowed to be that way too just let me know things down below happy valentine's day or whenever it is you're watching this you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below i would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe you can too tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel i'd love to have you here and as always i just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye